My name is Nadia Hapel. <laughs> I'm an artist, I'm a painter, and uh, my main medium is uh, oil. When I start a painting, I, um, I usually don't like overthink what I'm going to do because for me it's the most exciting just a, when I open the canvas and I put it on the easel or sometimes on the floor, uh, on the table, and I just, I just start painting. I think people are always interested what influence painters or artists. And I always would say, oh, everything, everything around me, but then I decide to really think what really does influence me. There are different things. There is the outside world, and that you can see on the paintings more um, like a visual things, like colors, and uh, sometimes I really get excited about the color combination and I really want to try in my painting. But there is another thing, what's going on in my life or how I feel and that you kind of cannot really fake. It's, um, you know, and that you feel it in the painting. It's, uh, it's really the feelings, the energy in the painting. If it's abstract, it's sometimes movement. And that you really, it's, 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 hard, it's hard to decide, okay, I'm going to do that. And like this painting, I call the goddess of fertility. And uh, it's another thing I'm always uh, interested, the goddesses from different cultures, different religions. So of course it's made up goddess. It's obviously a very surreal painting. And uh, fertility, it's about, anything, any beginnings you start in your life. When you start projects, she helps you to, to get a result. So I really enjoy to do art with my kids. They, they're both talented. When Ilya, my son, he was maybe three years old, I give him huge canvas. He just went for it. And I love the freedom the kids have. And I love the movement on that painting. So, but because I wanted to do the, um, you know, the collaboration with my son, so uh, I filled up the other places. And I was trying to stick the colors he picked. And I really like this painting. And it reminds me of when my son was little. This one I did with my daughter, Sophia. She was four at that time, and I just give her paint, watercolor paint. She, she wanted to do a really big fish. So we did that, she did that, and we were playing with you know, different techniques, watercolor techniques. It's strange to me because I was always, uh, oil was always my love, and I kind of, never took it seriously, watercolor, but it's really, really fun to do. It's a different feeling than oil. And I think it's the same with the paintings for me, the drawings. Are, um, I just, I like to start without plan and just to have it, uh, you know, just to be free. Yeah, I hear very often like, and it's normal question to know what is the painting is about. And very often it's very personal and sometimes I just answer generally. I really want to keep the mystery because sometimes I look at the person and maybe they have a much better story about it. I think art is personal for not only for the artist but for people who look at it. And sometimes it touches you, sometimes you're absolutely indifferent to it and sometimes you create your own story and it's always very personal from your own experiences you see something in that painting. And to me it's very interesting that, you know, I know it's a cliche when people say, oh, they're like your kids. They are a little bit like my kids because I believe artists, we put our energy on a painting and then, well, the painting has its own life. They, they go to another house.
they live with other people that now my paintings live in like all over the world. Sometimes I think to, to have a map and just <laughs> check where they live now. And then, and then they fly somewhere. <laughs> they go to another country. And sometimes you don't really know when you finish the painting, you don't really know what, what is it about. And sometimes after maybe a month, maybe a year, I was like, oh, okay, now I understand what was it about. With the birth of my daughter, I started to paint a lot of women or young girls. And I feel something changed in me. Yeah, it's always changing because I think, I think it's a good thing because, uh, you know, we are alive and people change. You cannot stay the same.